Deathmatch is a part of most players' routines when improving in Valorant. In this video, I will compare Deathmatch to regular games, as well as what actually applies to ranked and what doesn't. So first, let's look at aim. Now, Deathmatch for aim is one of the best ways to improve it because you're in so many gunfights that you would warm up no matter what you do. It's great for aim and probably even better than most aim training routines as it also works on your crosshair placement because it's inside the real game instead of a third party. Plus, it mimics the movement of a real player unlike the training range because players in deathmatch can run, walk, stay still at any time and can surprise you unlike the range where it's just one predictable movement. So overall deathmatch for aim is probably the best reason to use it. Now let's talk positioning. Now deathmatch does allow you to fight more people which is good but it's kind of unrealistic compared to real games. 14 players spawning anywhere on the map you're likely to get sandwiched and although that does happen in games at times, it rarely happens that one's behind you and one's in front of you at the same time. Instead, usually enemies are peeking together. The chances that you would be attacked by three people spraying at you at the same time is very unlikely. In deathmatch, people spawn so rapidly and it's not that the angles are bad. Usually where you spawn is very predictable and can be real, but everyone is just running at you at full speed. There's no regard for game knowledge and when to shoot and when to peek. They just spin at you and just try to get more kills. In a regular game, it feels so much harder to play because people peek really carefully and try to get the timing right and the counter strafing rather than just trying to go for the kill. So for positioning, deathmatch definitely isn't the way to go, but it can still help if you're trying to practice one specific spot on the map. So for example, you would try to stay on one site and just peek off your surroundings. Next, let's talk about how much deathmatch actually applies to real games. Most players in deathmatch don't play the same in real games. I am definitely part of that group where on deathmatch I could tap heads over and over again, but in ranked, I choke every time I'm in a fight. Now yes, deathmatch could help you control the fear of dying, but it does it in a way that it feels like it doesn't matter in deathmatch only. So I would get this feeling of confidence in deathmatch, but I would still choke fights in ranked. If you focus on thinking that deathmatch is an in-game scenario, like trying your hardest not to die by resting fights you shouldn't, it helps with implementing deathmatch tactics in game. So one tip overall for deathmatch is to just focus on one thing at a time. If you want to aim better, don't camp and rush. If you want to improve your positioning, position yourself in one spot the whole game. Alright guys, I hope you look at deathmatch differently after this video. Thanks for watching and have a good day.